And on the subject of work, one key message from the president's address, the federal minimum wage. He wants to raise it from 7.25 to 10.10 an hour for contracted workers. KXLY 4's Ian Cole working for you now. He joins us live to explain how your job could be affected and what changes to the minimum wage could be coming to our Washington. Ian? And federally, Nadine, it would only affect about 200,000 employees, but the president said tonight that the boost is an effort to help people support their families. The cold hard fact is that even in the midst of recovery, too many Americans are working more than ever just to get by, let alone to get ahead. And too many still aren't working at all. Nearly $3 more an hour is what the president wants for people working under contracts for the government, specifically those who get paid the absolute minimum. Hour because if you cook our troops meals or wash their dishes, you should not have to live in poverty. The president can issue the executive order, but would need congressional approval to raise minimum wage for all federal workers. Some people we talked with agree. With what, what minimum wage is right now, a man cannot even pay his rent. He must work a job and a half to do it. I think it gives you a little bit more incentive to work and, you know, gives people a little bit more incentive to actually find those kind of jobs. If you instead work at a minimum wage job, perhaps at a restaurant or retail store in downtown Spokane, there also could be good news for you. Governor Inslee recently said in his state of the state he'd like to see the minimum wage increased in Washington. Even though our state already has the highest in the country at $9.32 an hour, he wants people to earn more, at least $1.50 more. There are thousands of working moms and dads with full-time jobs, sometimes two or three jobs, who some days cannot afford, literally, to put adequate food on the table. I know there, there might be other effects of that that I'm not aware of, but the idea of people making more money for minimum wage seems like a good idea to me. The federal minimum wage increase would only include new contracts and it would start next year. Ian Cole, KXLY4 News. All right, thank you, Ian.